Hi everyone. Now, today I want to talk about my Barco Laplander folding saw. Now, as you've seen in my other videos, when I'm out for a good amount of time, you know, overnighters or multiple day trips, I bring a, a good axe with me and a Trailblazer folding box saw. But when I'm just out on a, a day trip, uh, something those kind of tools tools are really overkill. Um, a lot of time I won't even bring anything, you know, if I'm not planning on having a fire then there's no point in something like that. If I need to I've got a little saw on my multi-tool. But uh, today I'm using uh, a wood-burning stove to melt some water and uh, prepare some lunch. So I knew that I'd need to process some wood. So I brought my little Laplander out with I'll me. do a proper tabletop and uh, a way in so you can see the details of it. So the weight, 6.4 ounces, which comes out to 183 grams. Folded dimensions, 9 inches, 23 centimeters. Unfolded. Overall length 15.5 inches or 39.5 centimeters, and the blade length usable area is about 7 inches, um, just under 18 centimeters. Right. The handle of the saw is made from a very comfortable rubberized material. It's non-slip, which is really, really nice, and obviously you can use the wrist lanyard as well. And an additional safety feature is that you cannot actually open the blade without depressing this button here. Uh, the blade is made from a steel, no idea what kind. It's uh, anodized or, or blackened, which will re increase the corrosion resistance even more. And the uh, the shape of the blades uh, work in, in both directions, so it works fine for push cuts and pull cuts. And uh, in my experience, it's, it just cuts like a dream. It's it's really really nice. Now, the length of the blade, you have a working area of about seven inches, but obviously because you need to push and pull for the the sawing motion, you're not going to be able to cut a seven inch piece of wood. Uh, I would say the optimal width for the, the Barco is probably about wrist thickness. You know, if, if you're only cutting uh, small thumb sized pieces of wood for say a, a wood burning stove or a, a portable wood burning stove, then you can probably get away with a saw on a Swiss Army knife or a, a Leatherman multi tool or something like that. But um, this is certainly make, make quicker work of even uh, that size wood, but anything more than that, anything that you'd really want to upgrade to a box saw, uh, either a, a portable box saw like the Trailblazer or a full fledged bow saw. The blades are completely replaceable and they're, they're pretty cheap as well. I think the replacement blades are about $10 and they're readily available at most of the outfitters that I frequent, which is you know one of the main reasons I bought this one. It's an outstanding tool. You know, it's, it's made in uh, Sweden, I think it is. It's, it's pretty lightweight. We have a nice rust lanyard on it for safety purposes. But it cuts like a dream. It works really, really well. Um, there's a reason a lot of bushcrafters recommend the Barco brand. You know, Silky's another good brand, but I prefer Barco just because uh, I can get the blades locally. 